Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content on watchadvisor.com. Uh, I have the big pleasure to present you Hakim. Hello Alexander. He is vice president of Rado and responsible for the products at Rado and uh, the occasion we are here to present you those novelties is that we are now able to see the Rado novelties. You all know guys that Swatch Group did not attend Basel World this year. Last week we have been in Switzerland to film the novelties of Blancpain, Breugge, Chakidro, Harry Winston and of course Omega. So if you have not seen those videos, please go and check them. Um, there is also another video I've just taped with Hakim about the collection of... Uh, Captain Cook. Captain Cook. Very nice watch done in 1962. So you haven't, if you have not seen this video, please check it out. Now I have another surprise for you because Rado is still going forward in its history. And you have, uh, there's another watch coming from 1957. Please, the stage is yours. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Alexander. So here, uh, so the idea was to go back, to grab a little bit in the back of uh, Rado, at the really beginning of Rado. Rado, I mean the name, uh, started in 1957. And then the first watch Rado did at that time was the Golden Horse. So the idea was to make it again. So not only to create the product that was in the past, yes, I mean, just to show that we were there and we are not creating a new, new brand. So that was the first product. And then at the end, so we have also declined the product in different sizes. So we have two sizes also a little bit bigger and smaller for lady and for gent. And the idea was to reinterpret also the product from 1957. So we start uh, uh, from a di di diameter of 37 millimeter. Pretty impressive for the time. Sure, that was a big watch. <laughs> I would say it, it was, a, I think, a surprise. <laughs> because many of the other watches were 34 or, 34, yeah, or something or less. Yeah. Usual uh, so size. Yes. 37 millimeter watch, not bad at all. For, in terms of size, I mean. In yeah. terms of size, yes. And very and uh, courageous. Mm -hmm. they, you were, uh, Rado was daring already at the right. time being. So, Rado, uh, Rado, <laughs> Akin, please tell me about uh, okay. the Golden Horse. Okay, the Golden Horse, I mean, it's a name that was, um, okay, a big collection. So they had the Golden Horse, the Purple Horse, the Green Horse, the Silver Horse, the Silver Horse Sport. So that was really a huge collection at the beginning. Can you just explain us why horses? Um, I have a feeling, I'm not really sure, but I have the feeling that was also to enter the Chinese market. And they used two words, uh, okay, really important, noble animal and gold, okay? And I think that was really to start uh, developing the Chinese market. I see. Um, so then on the dial, you have the two golden horses, okay? Looking. In, looking, so face to we, face. we call them the kissing, uh, Oh, oh it's, okay. it's nice. <laughs> and then, so, so uh, which one is a female? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good okay. question. Yeah, okay. You, you will find out. Buy the watch, you will find out. <laughs> <laughs> so then you can see here, I mean, all the elements are the same as in the past. Um, okay, beside the glass, which is, of course, in sapphire. And we have also the movement, which is 80 hours power reserve. So here, all details, like the hands, the applied index, the color of the dial, um, the date in red, um, the anchor, which is also turning, and all details are really, really um, the same. Uh, in French, you say the dial is degradé, meaning degradé. It, it, it's changing color from outside right. to the inside. Has this style also been on the original watch? That was exactly the yeah? same, yes. yes. Interesting. So they had different colors. They had the same in blue, in green, okay. um, and also yeah. uh, in black. It's, it's, it's just interesting to see because a lot of these uh, dials come up now and uh, some might think it's a new invention of, of, of anyone, but you see 1957, it has already been done. So once again, we have to see the wheel is not reinvented in the industry. They are just thinking a lot and bringing back the history. Mm. But uh, yeah, we have, we have seen that before. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So then if you see here the, the detail, I, I like the, the side of the, the product. You see it's brushed here from the top bottom. It's mm. really interesting. Mm. And you have also the 
three C horses uh, on the back. Okay, that shows that the fixation, the closing system was a screwed uh, fixation. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really something original. And the idea also was to have this kind of uh, a flank pattern of the crocodile, okay, which is printed uh, um, on the leather strap. And so in the past, the strap were also with this kind of uh, pattern. So I think it looks really vintage. Watch. Very, very yeah. much vintage. Yeah. Very good. And uh, if you think too small for me, small ladies watch. By the way, I could imagine this very sexy on a lady's wrist. Don't blame me if you say oh, it's also good for men. Yes, it might be. But I, uh, I, I'm, I'm tending to, uh, to see more bigger watches on, on men's wrists. But uh, I, see, I know there's a trend for smaller watches, but uh, very nice watch. Um, more for the ladies for me, but you would say as a, as a salesman, okay, man, go for it. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's a um, for those who like the bigger sizes, so Rado mm -hmm. took the watches also. Mm -hmm. um, let's let's just take the first one. Okay, you you brought the golden horse in a modern version. Exactly. So here, so we are also bringing a few uh, details that are a little bit more modern. Of course, so we kept also the uh, um, box glass, but here the bezel here is in plasma ceramic. Okay. And so we have also the version where we have the ceramos. It's a kind of new material that was developed at Rado. Um, so this uh, material was launched last year and it is really an amazing material because it looks like, I mean, gold color. We have it also in steel color. And at the end, so we have something really hard and really anti-scratch. So that's really the DNA of the brand also. So talking about uh, nowadays. This material is called? Uh, this is plasma. So plasma. It's, a, it's, a, it's a normal ceramic, uh, ZRO2, um, mm -hmm. and then that was transformed by our specific uh, equipment, and we made a modification, and now today, so the material is called ZRC. Okay. okay. Second, it's unscratchable. I it's assume. unscratchable, of course, okay. yes. It's yeah. 1200 uh, Vickers. Polished? Polished and engraved. And engraved. Mm -hmm. And the one in gold that looks like a gold basil that's not a gold basil is called Serra Ceramos. Ceramos. Ceramos, okay. yes. Ceramos. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So here you can see, I mean, all details. So if you take the old watch and the new watch, so they are more or less the same. So here we have the brush on the yeah, side. We have also the new logo okay, also here, so the, the, the anchor, which is interesting. So yeah. it's really the logo that uh, we are in phases. A little bit more the logo because we have it also on the dial, which is also turning. We have also the date, which is in red, like we had in the past. We have the two sea horses. And uh, so we have also a small feature, like for the Captain Cook, uh, is the, um, the bristle can be also removed like this. So oh, you can really very good. It, uh, in an easy way. And then after that, so you can really also reclipse it. Uh, and so you can extend the strap as you want. So you will get some uh, leather strap. Ah, yeah, I see here. Same, yeah, you can see like that. Also, very yes. good, mm -hmm. very good. For those who don't believe, oh, it's me now trying things. I should probably not try in front of the camera. <laughs> worked <laughs> because mostly when you film it doesn't work and uh, it, it worked yeah okay very nice um, so the watch will be uh, offered with a metal strap metal strap metal bracelet we, metal we bracelet. have metal bracelet we and then with a the leather strap additionally we have the rice grain okay that was also something okay. that came also from the 60s and we have also the three links bracelet also which is also removable and we have leather straps okay and I see green again <laughs> Yeah, it's green. <laughs> you, it's you, green. You're pushing green. <laughs> we are pushing green. So we trust in green. So the, the watch will be available with a, with a silver dial. A uh, silver dial. In the execution with dial. the Ceramos. Yes. I learned Ceramos. Ceramos. We have a green dial uh, with the plasma. Cer plasma, plasma basil. Ceramic, yes. And you have a blue, very nice blue dial. Yes. Any other colors? Um, we have also the gray dial and gr the black dial. Okay. Yeah. We don't have it actually here, but... It's easy to imagine that the seahorse is also available with those styles. Mm. Very nice. Interesting. I like this. Finally, finally, the client may decide what he wants. Exactly. That's, that's and it. you can change also your yeah, yeah. watch. Yeah, because uh, sometimes maybe morning, you... So you want to, to go sport, you want to dive. Yeah, yeah, you want yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's how it should be. I like it. Let's see if I can... Yeah. <laughs> it works. <laughs> there you see. Only. Very nice. Very nice. And this comes with that... Vintage look strap. It, it, it looks a little bit like if you would have taken it out of a, of a 
from the past. Yeah, somewhere from, mm. I don't know. <laughs> and just put some dust off mm. and then, okay, nice. Good. Oh, Hakim, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, can we expect uh, more uh, of these vintage watches? Are there more in the pipeline? You are ahead of product. Let's see. Let me just give, because it's, it's, I, I like them, because it's, it's uh, giving Rado a new face. And it's a good face because I was uh, not so sure if you would have continued doing this very design-oriented watches. It's a very niche product. You had 100% of market shares in your niche, but the niche was very small. Yes, but design is really important, still important for all the collection. It's an addition. It's the cherry on the cake now. And this is really something that is really the basics, interesting basics, well done, history, vintage. You can tell the story, 57, 62, I like it. And then on top, the cherry on the cake, you can do whatever you want. But you just turn the whole thing around. Because in the past, you had the cherry on the cake as the main theme, and now it's the other way around. Hakim, thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to like our videos, of course. And uh, also, if you have questions to ask me, to if you have anything you want to know, please go ahead and uh, use the comment section just here underneath. Thank you very much for watching the Rado Golden House 1957. Bye-bye.